start the configuration. Basically, this could be done at any point. When the app starts, point 1 is automatically activated. Depending on which point you start with, the selection of the next point can be influenced by dependencies. This may result in restrictions in terms of layer thickness, indication and material. Restrictions are displayed with a grey background and cannot be selected. Go to Reset if you want to discard all entries. Point 1. Enter the tooth shade. Swipe left or right in the parameter bar with your finger and select the desired tooth shade. It is important that you determine the tooth shade after tooth cleaning on the non-prepared tooth or on the neighbouring teeth with the help of an A to D shade guide. In order to achieve the most lifelike results, the shade is ideally determined in daylight. For a reliable shade match, you can for example use the DSA function of the new Programat furnaces. Point 2. Enter the indication. Select the appropriate indication. Not all indications are listed in the app. To nonetheless achieve a suitable result, please use the alternative indications given in the user manual. Point 3. Enter the die shade. Swipe left or right in the parameter bar with your finger to select the die shade. Select the desired shade. Determine the dye shade with the IPS Natural Dye Material Shade Guide on the most discoloured area of the tooth stump. If you are undecided between two shades, always choose the darker one. If a metal core buildup is used, it's advisable to select the darkest dye shade, ND9. For zirconium oxide abutments, select the brightest dye shade, ND1. Point 4. Enter the layer thickness. Swipe left or right in the parameter bar with your finger to select the layer thickness of the restoration. Then select the desired layer thickness. You can determine the layer thickness either manually with calipers or digitally with the CAD software. Crowns, veneers and copings are measured centrally at the thinnest vestibular point. For inlays and onlays, measure the thinnest part in the occlusal area. Point 5. Enter the material. Select the desired material. If a field is shown with a grey background during material selection, the material is not suitable for the respective indication or layer thickness. In this case, check and change your entries. In order to generate the result, confirm your entries after completing the configuration. Depending on your configuration, you will receive one or two recommendations in the result bar. These are displayed in the result window next to first choice and second choice. The preview window allows you to obtain a virtual representation of the results. Go to the result bar and tap on the result that you want to see to display it in the preview window. To compare the shades, go to the A to D shade tab. Hold the shade tab down and move it over the result. Depending on the indication, the result will be displayed as an interior crown or shade tab. IPS Emacs Shade Navigation App. So shade and translucency always match.